Hi Sagittarius, I hope you are well. This is going to be a general love reading for mid-August to the end of August 2021 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So it is general which means it's not going to be for everybody's situation and that is perfectly okay. If you want you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs or you can book a personal reading. And the roles can definitely be reversed because it is a general reading. All right, so Sagittarius, what is the overall energy for the second half of August? All right, we have the answer is no. The question is, what is the question? Um, so there could be something that you have been thinking about, something that you have been wondering about. Um, whatever that is, the answer is no. Let's see, let's see what's going on here because this could be anything. It could be, it could actually be very positive. Just because the answer is no does not mean that it is negative. So let's see, Sagittarius. And then also keep in mind um, that this is just meant to be for a small um, time period, a short time period. So for your energy, we have the Four of Cups, the World, and the Eight of Wands. All right, so, well, I feel like you're saying no to a situation that was unfulfilling or where there was disappointment. Or it was like, you know, you just didn't have... A complete a complete connection here something just was not complete um, and because of that I feel like you are the one saying no or you are trying to just kind of close that out of your life and it's like you're just kind of moving really quickly in the opposite direction let's see what is going on with them we have the six of Pentacles the nine of Pentacles and the two of swords Okay. So I feel like this person has been um, possibly not been able to provide a hundred percent to this connection. So there was there was not an even exchange. There was not an even reciprocity here. Or this person was giving energy to this connection, but also to something else. And I feel like that is something that um, that may have led to this feeling like it's not complete, as I was saying before. Um, and it does look like, you know, this person might be struggling to become independent of whatever that other situation is, which could be another... Um, Relationship it doesn't have to be okay. It could be another person. It could be work. It could be it could be just about anything. It could even be um, a hobby. I don't know. All right, whatever that is, this person is trying to become independent of that. But I feel like there's still kind of it's just not resolved yet. So this could be why you are kind of deciding to complete this on your own. Um, without them, possibly. So, for the message for you here, we have the Three of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Something's coming in here. Could be this person, could be something else, but there is definitely some kind of an offer or some kind of an emotional expression that I feel is going to come in um i feel like the advice for you here is very similar to i think it was leo to pretty much stand your ground and i feel like you are you know i feel like whatever it is that you are doing you looking out into your own future you you know thinking about your own self that is making you more desirable, but most importantly, it's making you feel good. This is you standing in your power here. Let's clarify. <clears throat> Let's 
into the four cups. All right, we have the chariot, the sun, and the two of cups. <clears throat> wow, okay. So this is definitely having to do with um, the direction in which you feel this was heading or whether or not the direction would change and move towards you being happy. And I feel like, you know, this is definitely somebody that you, you're feeling a lot of love for. And I feel like that, that love is actually there from the other person as well. The emotions are there. You both have feelings for each other. And it, it comes in almost as if, you know, it felt like things were moving towards that happiness and towards this union for the two of you and then there was a sense of disappointment like just when you felt like it was happening or just when this person started moving in this direction bam it, it was stopped um disappointment it didn't happen and this is where where you stand right now so let's see the world the four of swords yeah, you're putting this to rest, at least for now. Maybe not conclusively, maybe not forever, but I feel like you're saying, you know what, the answer is no right now. Let me see the Eight of Wands. All right, we have the Hierophant and we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, yeah, so I feel like you you are taking action, right? You are taking action. Maybe you're even, you've taken action and communicated this with this person, um, letting them know. But whatever the case, you, you are moving forward in the opposite direction. And I feel like this is happening quickly. Um, but it's still a little bit, it feels a little bit confusing to you. Because you... It's like you just feel like, you know, this, this connection is just so strong. And maybe it's something you were holding on to for, for a long time here. But I definitely feel like you have the intentions of, you know, opening yourself up to two other potentials here. But then I, at the same time, I kind of feel like, um, yeah, I feel like, was that Leo? It feels similar to Leo, um, that you're, there's a part of you still hoping that this um, kind of works out in a way. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with them. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles. Justice and the Fool. So wherever this person is giving their energy, this is somebody who's really trying to make a decision, but that decision, is it feels like it's a very big risk. It feels like it would be taking a huge leap of faith. Um, for some of them, this might even involve divorce. <clears throat> and it could be, you know, that there is, if it is a, some other kind of um, romantic partnership, that this is where they were giving their energy and then, you know, um, felt like they were moving towards you and then it just kind of didn't complete. So... I feel like this person is really trying to think about what is the right thing here. It doesn't have to be that, okay, it could be anything, whatever um, situation that they've been giving energy to, whatever the case is, they, that energy was not going 100% to you, all right? That is the bottom line. And this person at the moment is trying to make a decision based on this, but I feel like it, it does feel like it is a risk for them for some reason. For some of them, it could be financial, having both the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles here. So clarifying the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> the Hermit and the Star. All right, so when it comes to this person, um, 
either finding their grounding, um, sorting out their financial issues, or becoming independent of whatever that other energy is that they've been giving energy to, I feel like there has been um, some conversations about that. And these conversations, they may be with you or they may be with other people. But there's been some conversations about that because this person does have hope that they can become um, independent, self-reliant, whatever. Find their grounding within themselves, whatever the, the situation is. So for the Two of Swords, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm beginning more and more to feel like this is either a financial issue or something concerning their, their finances or just something in the material world, all right? Which again, it could even be a marriage. And um, I say that because to me, the Queen of Pentacles can oftentimes be a spouse, just like the King of Pentacles. Um, it's something that is there in the material world, but not always necessarily in the emotional world. And I feel like, you know, this is where this person is a little bit um, still kind of still trying to decide what to do. I, it almost feels like this person is trying to, is waiting on their own self to step into this King of Swords energy. Um, some of you might be dealing with with an earth sign, an air sign is speaking to me as well. Um, obviously we have a whole bunch of signs on the table. We have Cancer, we have Leo, but definitely could be any sign. Um, yeah, it just feels like this person is still kind of iffy about what it is that they're going to do, especially when it comes to this um, material world situation. I do see them trying. I do see them trying and I feel like, you know, they might actually be um, thinking a lot about this because they're also thinking a lot about what it is that they truly want. And I do feel like this person does want you, all right? It's, it's pretty clear even just from the, from the first cards here, all right? This person was moving towards this love, basically. There's a reason for that. But... Um, I feel like you're doing the right thing by closing something out that is not going to give you 100%. There has to be even reciprocity here. All right, let's see, three of wands, we have the lovers. Huh. Yeah, you know, I feel like you're still, you're still thinking about this being a potential, and maybe it is, all right, because we do have the Knight of Cups here. Let's see. Could also be this person thinking about it. Let's see the three of cups and the four of cups showing up again. I see, yeah. This person is, is still thinking about this connection. That's what this is all about. This person is still thinking about this connection, still thinking about how they would want this, but it, it's almost like it's still a future energy in their minds. I feel like that's why we have the answer is no. So this is still something that they're thinking about when it comes to the future, maybe wanting to take action now, but it's, it's kind of like, you know, this person is feeling, yeah, you know, I will, I will, I will, but that will has to kind of turn into um, I am doing that now. And this is why I feel like we have the Queen of Wands here, which is you um, really moving towards your, towards the way that you are moving, all right? Moving in that direction, because I feel like that direction is giving you some sort of, at least a little bit of enjoyment at the moment, because you don't wanna go back 
to that Four of Cups. And I feel like that is the message here. You know, stand strong in your own power. Don't go back to the Four of Cups because you know what that is like. Again, if, if was it Aries or was it Leo? One of the two had a very similar reading. Let's see the Knight of Cups. All right, we have the Seven of Swords. I'm telling you, I, I'm pretty sure it was Leo. Definitely let me know if you're dealing with a Leo or if you have strong Leo in your charts and we have death. All right, so definitely, this could even be something else that you are entertaining that is um, not going to be what you expected or it just isn't, you're just not going to feel fulfilled with that and it's not going to be um, what you want at the moment, okay? I'm not saying that there isn't something else um, later on, all right, if you are completely done with this person, but I feel like if there is something um, at the moment or about to, to come in that you know of, I feel like that is something that you might actually want to kind of close out or end. Um, for others of you, I feel like the message here is that, yeah, you know, there is a major transformation that is needed. And again, I feel like it's the same message as it was for, I'm just going to risk and say Leo, <laughs> um, to stand in your power. Pretty much what I said here. If there's no change, if there is no ending of whatever that energy was that was um, serving as a barrier to this person being able to give as much as you are giving, well then, you know, it's just not going to be what you want. It's very simple, um, at least for now. Things do shift. And like I said, I do see this person um, putting in that effort and wanting. But I feel like they're kind of... <laughs> All right, and we have the new moon in Virgo, a time to give rather than take. So yeah, I feel like actually this is for your person that this, and it's exactly what I was just saying, that this is what they are thinking, you know, that they, it's not just that they've been taking, I feel like it's more of them giving to various energies, but it's a time for them to give. And unless they can give to match what you are giving, you know, then what I said before, pretty much. Um, but I also take this as a sign that this person is realizing that it is the time to start giving to you if this is um, what makes them happy, if, this, if they still want this connection, which it appears that they do. All right, Sagittarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.